Hello and welcome to Best My Test. In today's video you're going to learn the words disadvantage and disadvantageous. These two words are often used in TOEFL and IELTS exams. In this lesson you will learn how to use them with proper prepositions and common collocations. So let's get started. Okay, the definition of the noun disadvantage reads as follows. A disadvantage is a quality or condition that puts something or someone in an unfavorable or inferior position compared to others. We often use disadvantage to talk about the shortcoming of a thing or person. For instance, the following three sentences use disadvantage to describe a shortcoming of living in the countryside. The disadvantage of living in the countryside is poor quality of education. One disadvantage of living in the countryside is poor quality of education. One of the disadvantages of living in countryside is poor quality of education. However, only if disadvantage is used in the very beginning of a sentence, we say disadvantage of something. When using expletive constructions like there is or there are, it would sound wrong or unnatural to say there are many disadvantages of living in the countryside. Many students make this mistake. Here you should use the prepositions in or to, as in the following two sentences. There are many disadvantages to living in the countryside. Or, there are many disadvantages in living in the countryside. To make it easier, we often paraphrase here and simply say, living in the countryside has many disadvantages. Okay, the word disadvantage is often used in the following phrases. At a disadvantage and to one's disadvantage or work to one's disadvantage. The phrase at a disadvantage means being in an unfavorable position in comparison to others. We often use adjectives like competitive, clear and distinct before the word disadvantage. For example, at a clear disadvantage, at a distinct disadvantage and at a competitive disadvantage. Notice that competitive is often used when the subject is related to the business world. Alright, so how do we use the phrase at a disadvantage? The phrase at a disadvantage can be used in the following sentence patterns. Something puts or places somebody or something at a disadvantage. And somebody or something is at a disadvantage. Here are example sentences for the first sentence pattern. His lack of formal education puts him at a clear disadvantage in the business world. The new tariff policy will place my company at a competitive disadvantage in the marketplace. And here are example sentences for the second sentence pattern. You'll be at a disadvantage playing tennis against someone as skilled as Jimmy. Children from poor families are at a distinct disadvantage in education. Okay, now let's look at the other phrase to one's disadvantage. If something is to your disadvantage or works to your disadvantage, it creates difficulties for you. So, something is to somebody's disadvantage or something works to somebody's disadvantage is the same as something puts somebody at a disadvantage. Here are examples. My lack of formal education is to my disadvantage in the business world. I hope my lack of experience won't be to my disadvantage. It is to your disadvantage to not take this opportunity. The new tariff policy will work to our disadvantage. Okay, now you know how to use the word disadvantage. Let's talk about its adjective form disadvantageous. Disadvantageous describes things that cause somebody or something to be in a worse situation compared to others. Here are examples. We have to resell the property at a disadvantageous time. Minority groups find themselves in a disadvantageous position. Also, we often see the phrase be disadvantageous too. For example, living off campus is disadvantageous to students. And the company believes the new regulation is disadvantageous to the growth of its business. Another adjective is disadvantaged. Its meaning and usage are different from disadvantageous. The adjective disadvantaged describes someone or something lacking the things such as money or education that are considered necessary for an equal position in society. 
So people who are disadvantaged or live in disadvantaged areas live in bad conditions and lack, for example, good education, resources or reasonable standards of living. Let's look at some examples here. Research shows that men from disadvantaged backgrounds experience lower rates of marriage. Nowadays, employers are reaching beyond their usual networks and hire more people from disadvantaged populations. Aborigines are the most disadvantaged ethnic group in Australia. Scholarship, grants and financial aid make studying abroad affordable for disadvantaged students. Also, disadvantage is often used with adverbs like socially and economically, as in the following sentences. Research shows economically disadvantaged children enter school with less developed cognitive skills than their peers. In addition to higher smoking prevalence, socially disadvantaged workers smoke more heavily and are less successful in quitting smoking compared to other workers. Here, the word prevalence means a condition that is widespread, in medicine, the word is used for measuring individuals affected by a certain condition or illness. So in the example sentence, it means that the portion of people smoking is high among socially disadvantaged workers. All right, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the various usages of the words disadvantage, disadvantageous and disadvantaged. You should also check out our other video on advantage and advantageous. You'll find the link in the description below. As these words will for pretty sure pop up in your TOEFL and IELTS exams, we suggest you familiarize yourself with them. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments as well. Okay, this is Joe from bestmytest.com. On our website, we provide over a thousand TOEFL exercises to help you with your TOEFL preparations, so make sure to check it out. See you soon and goodbye.